LeBron was posting up, I believe. And uh, all game, they go from the nail, nail guy instead of the guy who uh, is right in front of the, the guy who's posting up. And um, all game, we've just been rotating and uh, swinging the ball and, and having that shot. So uh, this time, instead of the corner, it was in the middle of the floor. So I was just prepared for it, and I, I let it go. Clearly, the team had been struggling. Clippers been playing well. Uh, how how did it feel for you to be able to you know, come through in the morning in that moment, knock it down, uh, and you know, help the team on the way to a win? Yeah, we have been struggling, but I think it's been in certain moments throughout the game that kind of put us back and um, have us fighting um, in scenarios where we would rather uh, be up or tied. And um, I think that's been the, the downfall for us. But being able to beat a team like that puts us in a um, good position mentally. And I think um, it's going to be great for us and, and the guys who came off the bench and played well to uh, carry that on to the next game. Hey. Um, CB, obviously the game has so many swings, but for you personally to be able to hit that three and also hit two free throws after you had fouled <coughs> a three-point shooter, just yeah. a quick shot at redemption, um, how did you kind of process that? Um, I'm grateful, really. Um, I knew when I made that big mistake, um, I was trying to get as close to him as possible without fouling him, just kind of take away the airspace and kind of make him feel me while he was shooting. And I just totally misjudged it. So um, I immediately told myself I wanted to get that play back. And the opportunity came, and um, I just took advantage of it. Jordan, are there, are there lessons in the way you guys won this game, <clears throat> primarily defensively? And from an energy standpoint, that you need to be taken out of this. Um, yeah, I think good lessons. I guess you could say being able to um, <coughs> see Austin Reeves guard um, certain guys and, and put his body on the line, and, and um, that's a good thing to see. I think that also helps our defense and our mentality as a as an entire team. And to to have D'Lo back, that was good for us as well. Another ball handler, and um, it was just time for us to. Keep <clears throat> carry over this this good energy and try to rack up as many wins as we can. You're a guy in your career who the minutes haven't always been consistent. Um, when you look at Christian and what he's tried to do this year from going from being a high volume scorer to sometime rotation player, sometime out of the rotation, um, to kind of stick with it and, and what he's given you guys these last three games, pushing forward, how important do you think that offense is going to be for this team? I think it's going to be very important. Um, what's more important, I think, is the mindset we all have um, on the team and uh, knowing what we want to do, knowing what our goals are. And I think if we're all on the same page with that, a lot of the the inconsistent minutes or the shots you get and the shots you don't get, all that stuff kind of roll off for you easier, um, knowing that we have a, a certain goal in mind and um, it doesn't pertain to any individual stat. So. With the right mindset, I think everybody can be ready and stay ready and uh, not allow things like that to, to get in their head. Torian, uh, do you feel like this season um, has been uh, different at all for you in terms of your offensive usage, in terms of um, being either more of a, a stationary floor spacer as opposed to like a movement shooter? And if so, how have you adjusted to that? Man, I feel more valued here probably than I have anywhere in my career. Um, I think that's more so a, a testament to the organization, the people that I work within. Um, I've, I've been blessed to meet a lot of people throughout my years in the league, so um, there's a lot of familiar faces around here. and um, They've seen my growth since meeting me and, um, and, and have seen my growth now since seeing me again years later, and I think um, the trust is there. And so it's up to me just to continue to keep that trust at a high level and, and put in the work I know I can to stay consistent at and doing my job. Um, to you first off, congrats on the win and uh, you know big free throws and big shot. But got to ask you about the LeBron dunk. You had one of the best views of that dunk. Yeah. Did he shock you doing that? Like going through contact through uh, T-Man and then to raise up from where he did and then the dunk. Everybody's reaction when you look back at it was kind of shocked. What was your thought process on that? Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, he was dribbling the ball for a very long time uh, with T-Man riding his hip, and I don't know if you can hear it through the mic on the on the goal, but 
I told him to dunk. Well, I'm not going to use my exact words, but I told him to dunk it before he dunked it. So to see it actually happen is pretty crazy. So, um, But that's Bron, though. Um, he's a leader. He does things like that. And it's, it's our job to um, turn up our game and, and kind of follow his lead. Did y'all say something to, to him in the huddle and say something to him? Did he say, like, have a reaction? Like, yo, I told y'all nothing? Not, no, no, no. That's, that's just LB being LB. Um, coach made a joke at the end of the game, so he still has some frequent flyer miles still. So um, <laughs> I guess that's the only side joke we do at him. Oh, okay, I bet.